so I, I, I hear y'all with the passion, right? And wow. I, I 10,000% agree with that. And I, I believe it was 2020 when we got all the, uh, either 2019 or 2020 when we had the other players that we were just signing, just signing. We had old boy that had mental problems. I think uh, he was number 97 from the Vikings. Everson, whatever. Griffin. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Griffin or whatever like that. And yeah. after one game that we lost and we still had a shot to get to the playoffs, I think you heard Bennett, I believe, was in the back arguing at the team. And, he, like, you could walk past the locker room and they heard, like, the Cowboys arguing in the back. Right. It's like those players don't exist on this team or or, or, or or we are made to believe that they are not on the team. Because I remember the slap of the clipboard. I remember, you know, uh, 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 Coach uh, Richard yelling at the, uh, the players on the sideline. I remember coaches getting in the face of the players because they messed up uh, Dino. Is it Jerry that is telling these players or coaches that it's unacceptable to be like that on the sideline? It's a bad look for our brand or what? Because I know in your time, y'all did that. Yeah, we did that. I I'll tell you what it was. We were kind of the last of a dying breed. Um, what it was is we were, we, were, we were actual men out there. We weren't just football players. You know, we from Compton and we just happen to be good at sports. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever yeah, it was. So it, I, to be honest with you, the coaches and Jerry never had any say. It was just who we were as a team and our leaders. Like if if I'm this type of way, Greg Hardy's this way, and Des Bryant, our other leader, is we're all the same way. Guess what? Everybody on the team is gonna follow suit without talking about it. Mm. And then when the time arises, when you know someone does need to get yelled at or it's an argument, the coaches usually stay out of it because we handle it within ourselves. Like yeah. we handle it ourselves. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these. You know, older guys never played football. They were never those guys. They've always wanted to be, but being that guy comes with a, a different type of toughness that it's certain things, intangibles that you earn through that. And and most of those guys in the, in the higher ups, they don't have it. So I believe that you need to, I don't know, I think it goes down to the recruiting. We need to get players in there who, and, and you know, who are real, real guys. Right. And they can't be scared of the real guys. Well, well, be well I, let, let me ask you this then, you know, and and correct me if I'm wrong. I heard the uh, last podcast when you said this and a lot of people like, yeah, he right. But you can't have two masters in the household, right? One will, yeah. one will lean on to the other one more than the, you know, the one that's trying to set the rules. So uh, what I'm getting at, you got Jerry Wayne Jones and you got his son, Stephen Jones. Mm. Who really setting this culture up, man? What's really going on from your perspective? Because you said that it's more so Stephen Jones. Yeah, uh, basically, we. I mean, I'm glad you asked that. I mean, when you look at it in that sense, yeah, it can't be two masters up there. And I mean, just look at the look at the history. Look at the '80s, the '90s, and mm -hmm. now. You know, we're not even talking about winning or losing. Let's talk about the culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Steven, if you ask me, is the he's the problem. He's just blatantly the problem. He, you know, thinks Jerry's old. Jerry don't know what he's doing. Jerry's too nice to the bad boys. And he don't right. like it because he wanted his daddy to be nice to him like that. Except he's not athletic and big and black. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do about it. So right. he he does try to, you know, I, like I said, the culture has changed. Right. It and the attitudes of our players, the passion with our players. Yeah. I think it has a lot to do with Steven Jones. hundred percent and they actually work together mm. you know it's not really bumping heads you know usually the two the two best fighters on the team for example the two crazy right. you know for example i would say yeah. me and, and greg hardy at the time yeah. no you wouldn't mess with me and yeah put, put like this they wouldn't mess with him mm -hmm. and greg had respect for me we right. it was a respect for each other where okay i see what you're doing to him yeah. mm -hmm. i want you to try with me let me get around him just to yeah. see he try it with me. I want to see. And he yeah. won't. You know, real respect, real. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And it worked together. It was yeah. like a good cop, bad cop thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but on that level with Jerry, yeah, I mean, if Jerry could go back in time 30 years, we'll probably have uh, some more rings in the next two to five, two to three.
Yo, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Listen, if you enjoy what you're hearing right now, go ahead, like, comment, and share. Like, comment, and share one more time. Like, comment, and share. It costs absolutely nothing to subscribe to this channel because it's all free. This gas ain't free, but subscribing here is free. I'm just trying to get ready so I can go back home and finish watching the DVD. All right, y'all. Peace. If, if you just remove Stephen Jones. You know, yes. Because wow. because if you, if you go back and you hear this, uh, Scott, and I know you already know the storyline of this. You know, Stephen Jones didn't want Deion Sanders here in 95, Absolutely. right, yep. because of the yep. money. So he's always been particular about the money. And it seems as if, though, if when Jerry starts slipping away, which is natural, the dude is 89,000 years old, you know. So yeah. what I'm thinking about is that it goes back to a couple of years back when D-Law was up for a new money, right, David? And mm -hmm. what happened was uh, yes, uh, D-Law was like, put your damn daddy on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, he literally, true story, put your daddy on the phone. And the dad approved it because he was trying to veto it, right? So it that's two ways. That meaning that the player know how to circumvent some stuff, right? That means right. that if he know how to do that on that end, it's also happened at micro levels where they saying, yeah, you know, Coach Mike McCarthy is saying, you know, this and that, but I'm going to Jerry or I'm going to Steven because now players know how to pick sides or the agent definitely know how to pick sides and say, I'm going to talk to Jerry or I'm going to talk to Steven. And that's where you get favoritism from. That, yeah, well, exactly right. Well, let's go here too. When that bit somebody in the butt, let's talk about the one guy, number 94, you know, what they call behavior issues off the field, right? And it was time for his contract, right? And they put certain verbiages in that contract that was like, hey, man, wait a minute. Hey, I don't need this verbiage in here. I'm a good player. You know what I'm saying? And then when they when they, when they they messed it up, the son, the son messed it up and said, you know, well, this is what we got for you. He was about to sign. But then they added that extra little word in the and his agent said, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, yeah. we going to the 49ers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was the Broncos at that time. The Broncos, right. The Broncos, yeah. the Broncos. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like, dude, hey, man, stop treating your players like they little boys, man. Because back in the day, the drug dealers, we had drug dealers on the team. Let's be honest. <laughs> we had drug Shout dealers. to Hollywood, baby. Hey, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit, the last one the Cowboys had on a team, I think he retired in like 2017, 2018. I can't yeah. remember the name. <laughs> you know we had we had that on the squad man so it's like it, looking at how the fans respond to those type of guys and say there are problems and this that and the other but we referenced the 90s team so bad they had trouble too they couldn't keep the, the penis in the pants let's just let's just keep it real they couldn't keep the penis in the pants <laughs> they couldn't keep the diggling in the they, they had to be swallowed they was had to be swallowed up they had to be swallowed <laughs> <laughs> You know, they had that. You know, up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, that White House was crazy, I heard. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they had all that going on, but yet they were winning. You know what I'm saying? They didn't mind. They were winning. And winning, winning is the best deodorant of all, right? But you know? it's a common trend by all of this. And David Irving can contest to this. It's always a win. It's around the contracts. You ever notice that? Yeah. Yeah. Them damn contracts make make them uh start a fire this stuff. Like, hey, we're gonna give you another test, bro. <laughs> and they show about 50 more. 50 yeah. more of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I think one year I got tested. Uh like in uh it was 70, 76 tests. Yeah. In one year. I mean you look at this fine, something. Like, isn't it? Yeah, isn't don't cannabis take months to get out your system? Why y'all test? Yeah. <laughs> 12 months of the year. But yeah, they test they test you. 76 yeah. times? Dang. Dang, bro. Yeah, it'd be like, like man, that. your pee had to be like vinegar up in that beer. <laughs> hey, a little vinegar, a little cranberry. It was, it was <laughs> You it had was, to take a UTI uh, remedy up in that beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny you say that. I can't, I'm not going to say it all on here, but it's down. I got it down to a science, man. It's a, it's a, about right, you can the, say it on here. The, the, like I said, nah, 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 the players, man, nah. If they need this information, they gonna, they gonna, I'm going to tax them a little bit. I'm about to save them a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it's ways, it's definitely ways around it. it, it, it is it Nasen? 
No, that was college level stuff. No. Oh, okay. That that niacin don't work on 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 the pros test, I guess. You know. No, I mean it'll. I mean, at what? How much niacin you gonna take? And plus, it's much simpler, easier way. Yeah. You know, we get a four hour window. Uh, a lot of commonly mm. known methods uh, don't really work in that four hour window. But, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. out of my seventy six, I only failed <laughs> nine. Yeah. And like no. I said, it's down to a science. If they just get you at the wrong time, you just you, and then you mm. could do about it. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. They they but, smart too. But but you know it's crazy, man, uh how the correlations or how things work now is that you you had something that you was gonna do against the NFL and now all of a sudden they dropped everything and you can take it now. You know, you can roll one. Yeah. You can still get fined for it, but you yeah, don't lose yeah. no games, though, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, I, how, how convenient that is, David. Come on, man. How convenient that is. All man, I don't know. The year <laughs> after I said something, man, I don't know, man. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. You know, but, you know, the league will never give any recognition. But I, I am very, very happy, you know. Uh, it's only the certain people who really understand it. And those people, is, is, that's why it matters, you know. Right, you know, right. the players, I mean, think about me and Randy alone. Yeah. And others. You know how much money? that they took for from us because of that. You yeah. know how many players now get to go forward and enjoy life at a, you know, more more enjoyable, uh, in a more enjoyable manner. Um, I hear the fine, and also the, the limit is up. So when they used to test us, I believe it was mm -hmm. 50 nanograms or under yeah. is what you had to have yeah. in your system. They, they yeah. bumped it up to 250. Oh, wow. Yeah, because yeah. everybody's doing it now, man. Uh, I do love the strong push, plants over pills, and uh, how this world try to get you on the pills forms. And and me, I grew up kind of like on the outside looking in at it, but it it took up until my mom was battling through cancer that she she had to roll one, and that alleviated so many things to see her glow over a plant. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, the pills yeah. couldn't do it. My yep. mom woke up, bro. But even though it made she rest in peace, it was that moment that I realized, man, the world is so backwards. They would rather for people to be pumped up with pills versus the plant that can help you. Yeah. Wow. Yep. I hate to go here, but I remember the last time we talked, David, you said that Stephen A. Smith mom had a, had a chance to do what Law's mom did, but because of his belief, he refused, and that possibly could have helped her. Yeah. Because they dogged the crap out of you. I mean, they had segments on ESPN about you and Stephen Day and Snoop and other yeah. guys just dogging yeah. you out, bro. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I remember that. So, hey, man, you know, rest in peace, you know, mom law. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I, yeah. I, I remember that, bro. You know, we, we felt you on that, bro. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, you know, what they call behavior issues off the field, right? <laughs> and it was time for his contract, right? And they put certain verbiages in that contract that was like, hey, man, wait a minute. Hey. I don't need this verbiage in here. I'm a good player. You know what I'm saying? And then when they when they when they messed it up, the son, the son messed it up and said, you know, well, this is what we got for you. He was about to sign. But then they added that extra little word in there, and his agent said, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. We going to the 49ers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was the Broncos at that time. The Broncos, right. The Broncos, yeah. the Broncos. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like, dude, hey man. Stop treating your players like they little boys, man. Because back in the day, the drug dealers, we had drug dealers on the team. Let's be honest. We had drug <laughs> Shout dealers. Shout out to Hollywood, baby. Hey, we yo, yeah. <laughs> Shit, the last one the Cowboys had on a team, I think he retired in like 2017, 2018. I can't yeah. remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had we had that on the squad, man. So it's like it, looking at how the fans respond to those type of guys and say there are problems and this, that, and the other. But we referenced the 90s team so bad, they had trouble too. They couldn't keep the, the penis in the pants. Let's just let's just keep it real. They couldn't keep the penis in the pants. <laughs> they couldn't keep the niggling in the they, they had to be swallowed. They was had to be swallowed up. They had to be swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> You know they had that. Swallowed up. That White House was crazy. I heard. You know what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. So they had all that going on, but yet they were winning. You know what I'm saying? They didn't mind. They were winning. And when it when is the best deodorant of all, right? But you know, it's a common trend by all of this, and David Irving can contest to this. It's always a win. It's around the contracts. You ever notice that? Yeah. 
Yeah. Them damn contracts make make them uh start to find this stuff. Like, hey, we're gonna give you another test, bro. <laughs> Man, they show about fifty more. Fifty yeah. more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think one year I got tested. Uh, like you know, it was 70, 76 tests. Yeah. In one year. I mean, you look at this fine, something. Like, isn't it? Yeah, isn't don't cannabis take months to get out your system? Why y'all test? Yeah. <laughs> 12 months of the year. But yeah, they test they test you. 76 yeah. times? Dang. Dang, bro. Yeah, it'd be like, like man, that. your pee had to be like vinegar up in that beer. <laughs> hey, it was, it was a little vinegar, a little cranberry. It was, it was <laughs> You it had was, to take a UTI uh, remedy up in that beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's funny you say that. I can't, I'm not going to say it all on here, but it's down. I got it down to a science, man. It's a, it's a, about no, you can the, say it on here. The, like I said, nah, 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 the players, man, nah, y'all, if they need this information, they're going to they gonna, I'm gonna tax them a little bit. I'm about to save them a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it's ways, it's definitely ways around it. it, it, it is it Nasen? No, that was college level stuff. No. Oh, okay. That, that Nasen don't work on, on, on the pros test, I guess, you know. No, I mean, it'll, I mean, at what, how much Nasen you're going to take. And plus, it's much simpler, easier ways. Yeah. You know, we get a four hour window. Uh, a lot of commonly mm. known methods uh, don't really work in that four-hour window. But oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Out of my 76, I only failed <laughs> nine. Yeah. And like wow. I said, it's down to a science. If they just get you at the wrong time, you just you, and then you mm. can do it. By <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. They, they but, smart, too. But, but you know, it's crazy, man, uh, how the correlations or how things work now. Is that you? You had something that you was going to do against the NFL, and now all of a sudden they dropped everything, and you can take it now. You know, you can roll one. Yeah. You can still get fined for it, but you yeah. don't lose yeah. no games, though, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. I, how, how convenient that is, David. Come on, man. How convenient that is. All man, I don't know. The year <laughs> after I said something, man, I don't know, man. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. All, you know, but you know, the league will never give any recognition. But I, I am very, very happy. You know. Uh, it's only the certain people who really understand it. And those people, is, is, that's why it matters, you know. Right, you know right. the players, I mean, think about me and Randy alone. Yeah. And others, you know how much money that they took for from us because of that? Yeah. You know how many players now get to go forward and enjoy life at a, you know, more more enjoyable, uh, in a more enjoyable manner? Um, I hear the fine, and also the, the limit is up. So when they used to test us, I believe it was, Mm-hmm. 50 nanograms or under yeah. is what you have to yeah. have in your system. They they yeah. bumped it up to 250. Oh, wow. Yeah, because yeah. everybody's doing it now, yeah. man. Uh, I do love the strong push, plants over pills, and uh, how this world try to get you on the pills forms. And, and me, I grew up kind of like on the outside looking in at it, but it, it took up until my mom was battling through cancer that she, she had to roll one and that alleviated so many things to see her glow over a plant. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cause the pills yeah. couldn't do it. My yep. mom woke up, bro. But even though it may she rest in peace, it was that moment that I realized, man, the world is so backwards. They would rather for people to be pumped up with pills versus the plant that can help you. Yep. Wow. I hate to go here, but I remember the last time we talked, David, you said that Stephen A. Smith mom, had a, had a chance to do what Law's mom did, but because of his belief, he refused, and that possibly could have helped her. Yeah. Because they dogged the crap out of you. I mean, they had segments on ESPN about you and Stephen A and Snoop and other yeah. guys just dogging yeah. you out, bro. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I remember that. So, hey, man, you know, rest in peace, you know, Mom Law, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I, yeah. I, I remember that, bro. You know, we, we felt you on that, bro, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 